So uh, it's really exciting to be here today. C'est un plaisir énorme. Um, je suis vraiment désolée que j'ai pas pu être ici l'année passée. Uh, last year I was only here on video and so it was briefer, but the energy in this room is fantastic. And by the way, hashtag c'est beau. C'est beau, B-O-E-W. What is c'est beau? Wet, c'est beau. It's uh, la boîte à outils de l'expérience uh, web. So, new, uh, new acronym for us, WET, c'est beau. So, um, and uh, I think uh, thanks to the organizers for hosting this in such a great facility here at Carleton. Every September, I have to tell you, it's only graduated a few years ago, I have trouble because I always want to go back to school. And uh, it's hard that in September, lots of young folks are going back to school and uh, uh, we're, uh, we're, we're in the same uh, office routine. It is fun. But it would be nice to go back to school from time to time. Anyways, it's fantastic to be here and to launch uh, this year's Code Fest. And uh, uh, I have to tell you just from the beginning, uh, je suis tellement fière de tout ce que cette communauté a déjà réalisé. I am so proud of what you've done so far. Mais je suis persuadée que ce n'est que la pointe de, de l'iceberg. I really do think that uh, what we've done so far, what you've done so far, is just scratching the surface of what this community is capable of. And, you know, frankly, it, it gives me a tremendous amount of joy and satisfaction. I brag to the secretary about it. I brag to the president of the Treasury Board about it. And I'm glad to see that we get uh, bragged about as a community uh, internationally and in, in, uh, in the press as well. Uh, I would like to reiterate that CodeFest is not just for developers. Uh, you don't have to know any coding to participate. C'est vraiment euh, très, très soulageant. Ça fait très longtemps depuis que j'ai mis euh, mes mains sur un clavier pour développer du code. So uh, I'm sorry to say that I would not be a very good uh, active collaborator. I'm an active supporter of the collaborators. <laughs> But I want to thank everybody for, um, for coming out here, developers, policy folks, and supporters alike. And I want to thank you for your innovation and collaboration. So innovation and collaboration are two key words, but I, you know, in, uh, in uh, thinking of this uh, talk this morning, you know, can you really innovate by yourself? Is there such a thing as innovation by one person? Well, you can innovate in a small way by yourself, but true uh, innovation is really built on successive innovations, achievements, hard work, advancement by communities. Uh, Gutenberg, the printing press, arguably a key innovation. He built upon a variety of, uh, of uh, developments before him, including paper, including the development of ink, and so forth. Uh, the uh, steam engine, he built on the wheel, blah, 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 blah. Uh, the PC, the Apple, the, the Jobs Wozniak collaboration and that whole community of developers in Silicon Valley and engineers. So the key point here is that ideas come out of individual brains. Innovation is a result of successful collaboration by a community of folks and the ability of uh, a number of people, small or large, to get together and successfully integrate their ideas, challenge each other, merge them, knit them together. The power of that synergy, when it occurs, is, ex is, is really extraordinary, and that is what the SWET community has proven so far, and, uh, and that is what I think we will continue to prove uh, as we go, uh, we go forward together. So um, I am a real believer in innovation through collaboration. I think that you uh, folks are the pioneers. Pour le gouvernement du Canada, je pense que les, uh, la capacité de travailler ensemble, de collaborer, votre, uh, votre ouverture à, à cette façon de travailler, c'est une nouvelle façon, c'est une façon qui est pas la vision du greffier dans Destination 2020. C'est la façon qui dit, peu importe dans quel département on se trouve, uh, doesn't matter what program area or department we're in or who our deputy or our ADMs are, uh, we recognize engaged, talented people across the government. We share the same goal. Together, we're infinitely more powerful 
than we are individually. And if we can take this spirit, this, this emerging collaboration muscle that this community has developed and export it across the government of Canada, uh, you know, the sky's the limit. So uh, this is uh, uh, the wet uh, five-year anniversary. I didn't realize we were that old already. Time flies. Uh, it was originated in 2009. Uh, first release was uh, V2.0, August uh, 9, 2010. It was originally named the GC Web Template. Uh, the current name, Wet or Bo, uh, was crowdsourced. So uh, that's also very good. And its predecessor was the CLF Template, which was a good piece of work, but a difficult acronym. J'aime beaucoup uh, Wet c'est beau. <laughs> there have been 38 releases of Wet from V2 to V4. And that doesn't include all the alphas and betas that you've, uh, you've put out there in between. Um, je me souviens encore, uh, en 2012, quand Perth est venu me voir et il m'a dit, uh, Corinne, uh, on, doit, on, on doit se joindre au mouvement uh, du code vers open source. And, uh, you know, uh, we've been talking about open source and, of course, uh, we've been using Apache and we, we use a number of open source platforms in government. And, uh, you know, it, it really didn't, and I hope, Perth, you agree with me, it really wasn't too hard a sell. Uh, frankly, uh, you know, I am not easy to convince on a number of topics, I confess. That's because the people around me are all a lot more brilliant than me and I have to keep repeating until I get it. But uh, he came up to me and he made the pitch to put um, uh, the template and wet uh, onto, onto GitHub, and I thought, that's brilliant. And, uh, you know, we moved forward with it right away, and uh, that has certainly been uh, um, uh, the beginning of, a, of, of, of an even faster acceleration. Aujourd'hui, um, uh, l'organisation uh, sur GitHub uh, compte 116 membres, over 300 people when including the working groups. Et, um, the repository, the main wet project area, is watched by 128 people favorited by 549 people, and this is apparently a word in this community, and forked <laughs> by 335 people. J'espère que je n'ai pas offensé personne en utilisant ce terme. On me dit que c'est un terme accepté dans cette communauté. So, um, uh, and by the way, in early days, we used to joke about GitHub as uh, giddy up. And uh, giddy up, we've got to get going. And so uh, that's uh, coming along. So um, for today, we would understand if someone were to tell us that uh, version 4.0, with version 4.0 of, uh, of WET, it takes 80% less time to load and execute than previous versions. And the download side, size is 80% smaller than the previous versions, which is, of course, important for mobile. But uh, it's more important than that. What, what this shows is that this community is not only innovative, but innovative in a practical, cost-effective, and efficient way. You are sensitive to the needs of the users who are not going to want to sit around and wait and wait for the little round circle to keep going. You're sensitive to the consumption, bandwidth, and uh, you know whatever, CPU, and so forth. So um, I, th I think that that's very, uh, very impressive. There have been 1,661 commits and 357,000 plus changes uh, spread over 23 people in the last year. What a productive community. Um, WET is being used on millions of web pages across the government of Canada, uh, on Canada.ca, which is the latest uh, version. It's also being used on uh, City of Ottawa website. Uh, A11YQC or the Quebec Accessibility Conference. This is something else that this community has, has pioneered. I think we're world leaders in accessibility and the adoption of WCAG 2. Again, thanks to the efforts of this room. Uh, it's uh, on OSAC CAN, Open Source Alliance of Canada, Ontario Colleges.ca, University of Ottawa, the Nunavut General Monitoring Plan, and more. C'est vraiment extrêmement impressionnant quand on, on, on pense et on réfléchit sur, sur ces statistiques et sur ces réalisations. In a report uh, publicly, uh, released publicly this year, uh, IBM re recommended to the city of Hamilton that the Web Experience Toolkit is the best fit for Hamilton.ca, and uh, their report is available online. I certainly encourage everyone to go, to go uh, read it. 
This uh, community has already been recognized, but I do think that that's just the beginning. Project won the Excellence in Public Service Delivery Award at GTEC 2012, the Share and Reuse and the People's Choice Award at DPI 2011, which is, of course, the Association of Public Sector Information Professionals. And as I mentioned, it's been featured in the press, Wired, GitHub for Government, Canadian Government Executive, Fast Company, Mashable. How many other federal efforts have been featured in Wired Magazine. Pretty impressive, eh? I tell you, I started reading Wired Magazine at the very beginning and still is uh, quite the authority in innovation. So really, uh, really great uh, uh, progress. Uh, last year, after Ben Balter came to CodeFest and learned about our project, he called WET the most collaborative open source project in government in the world, and he should know his role at GitHub is to support governments uh, in these areas. So pretty impressive. Uh, this year, something even more incredible happened. By using third-party tools like Twitter Bootstrap, we have influenced the accessibility of private sector products. Hashtag WebCBO. Another important element, yeah, you're gonna, you know, this is my son. My, I, I, have, uh, I have adult uh, sons, and uh, they, they remind me of the importance to speak in the vernacular of today. I, <laughs> you know, hashtag, right. By opening our license for commercial reuse, we are enabling um, uh, innovation to go even faster because, of course, uh, open source is great, but uh, sometimes you do need injections of capital to, to really spread uh, your innovations worldwide, and that is done through commercial third parties that can see uh, some uh, revenue-generating potential, so that has been fantastic, and uh, we are, we're very pleased with that. It's a great track record. So uh, this is a fantastic community. You've taken a whole of government approach that I have long been espousing. And uh, you've also included and integrated the private sector in this approach, which I've also been espousing. You are the leadership model for the future. Definitivement, uh, cette communauté est l'exemple parfait de Destination 2020. Et uh, vous êtes uh, six ans en avance de Destination 2020, donc en 2020, Qui sait où nous serons, euh, où nous serions, mais ça, ça serait, euh, je suis sûre, euh, encore euh, plus avancé qu'on puisse imaginer aujourd'hui. So this brings me to the Web Renewal Initiative. Um, Web Renewal for the Government of Canada is a big initiative, as you all know. Nous avons euh, plus de, nous avions, avant de commencer, nous avions plus de 1500 sites web individuels. Before starting Web Renewal, we had, you know, individually uh, approximately 1,500 websites, and that's not across every federal government department or agency. It's just on the top 100, if you will, on Schedules 1 and 2. We're already uh, making great progress towards this, and WET is part of that, uh, that progress. Over the next two years, uh, all of these departments will start consolidating their content onto the new Canada.ca. It's already started but uh, we are accelerating the pace. We have to make big progress in this calendar year. We've, we've done so, but we continue to do so. And by December 2016, uh, those 15 URL, 1,500 URLs will have been retired. The active content migrated to Canada.ca, which, by the way, is very slick, which loads on mobile platforms in a most elegant way. So we're very pleased about that. And um, we've had, you know, we, we go through it with quarterly releases, but... Uh, we would not ever have been able to put forward such an ambitious migration plan for Canada.ca with uh, a traditional project approach that would have been based on the classic pyramid hierarchy. You know, one department, one project manager, folks at this level, that level, that level. I mean, that, you know, obviously hierarchies exist and they exist for good reason and they're, they're very useful. But true acceleration can only occur when you get the kind of collaboration across departments that this community demonstrates. So this year, we want to use CodeFest to really re, uh, you know, set the bar for the next stage of acceleration and evolution for the Wet Experience Toolkit and for the application of Canada.ca. Donc on a des plans ambitieux. Uh, this year's event is exciting. I'm sorry that I can't stick around uh, and, and participate in all of it, but I will. I know it's being videotaped, so I'll try to 
de, de voir les autres présentations euh, le soir puis la fin de semaine. Uh, J'espère qu'on va tous uh, les filmer. So there are special guests, participant-led interactive sessions, um, a policy-focused design jam, which is going to be really interesting. And uh, really, there's content for everybody. Uh, there's content geared for both the technical, uh, wet, uh, hands-on community, as well as for policy analysts in support of that. So uh, certainly, um, one of the main goals of Web Renewal is to make Canada.ca more user-friendly, uh, i.e. users need to find what they need quickly, easily, and they need to find it at once without having to do repetitive searches and searching and searching and filtering. And quality online services, by the way, is a key step in maintaining the trust of Canadians in their government. So it's not only about the obligation to post information online to keep Canadians informed, but our ability to do that well, to engage with Canadians, to present content on the platforms they're using, wherever they are, in the most effective way, content that reaches them, content that speaks to them, is helping to solidify trust in government, and that's critical. That's, uh, we have a great country, it's a wonderful place to live, we have a great government, and you know, Canada.ca is a vital part of maintaining that. So now, uh, you are going to be able to participate in a lot of things over the next two days. You're going to hear from Jane Hazel, the DG in charge of Healthy Canadians website tomorrow. I want to, is Jane here? I want to, well, she'll, she'll be here tomorrow for sure. I want to, I want to congratulate them on the great work. Uh, Health Canada has done some great work, as well as a number of other departments. The amount of Great work done already on the travel site, on Healthy Canadians, on Canada.ca by, by the department's leading themes and, and others contributing them is uh, something else. So uh, uh, we're, we're very pleased and uh, I myself am particularly interested to see the results of the policy jam that will potentially give us some interesting ways to help reduce the web of rules. Puis je ne connais aucun département qui n'est pas euh, extrêmement anxieux de voir comment on peut réduire, optimiser, consolider justement notre, euh, notre euh, environnement de, de politique et, et les règles euh, qui les soutiennent. So there is a lot happening. But, you know, uh, uh, I want you to know that uh, while there is a lot happening, I am sending out a challenge to this community today at the beginning of Code Fest and a challenge that uh, I think will bring out, uh, that I, I'm sure this community will rise to, and that will help us uh, quite a bit uh, over the next year. So, as you know, we have a lot of uh, uh, websites, but uh, not only did we, did we start with 1,500 websites, we also have about 1,000 little web applications. So we call them web applications. These are not authenticated applications, so we're not talking about CRA and where you file your taxes or, you know, uh, your online account at uh, Service Canada or at VAC or, or anywhere else. Those are what we call authenticated applications. We're really focusing in, uh, for the, in, in the initial uh, phase of migration of web renewal, on those 1,000 not authenticated applications that exist all over on these individual websites, although we will eventually get to the authenticated applications as well. And uh, what we're trying to do is trying to migrate the best of these applications, consolidate, streamline, optimize, while we migrate content to Canada.ca. Uh, so what that means is that means that we will need a, sin, uh, a centrally managed presentation layer that all these web applications can use. And if we can do that, we can accelerate the uh, publication of more applications on Canada.ca in different themes and different areas of the site because we'll have that wet uh, template and those wet tools and components to build from. So I think that this community is uh, key to standardizing in this area and to driving us to the next level of productivity and migration with the work that you're going to do over the next two days and over the next two years. So how do we get there? Well, I've been reminded of uh, John F. Kennedy's uh, speech on getting to the moon. And uh, he said that uh, the future was not built by those who waited and uh, rested and wished to look behind them, but uh, was forged by those who moved forward. So uh, that is really what this community does constantly. 
And uh, you, uh, you, you do this and you make your, the result of your hard work available free of charge to uh, everybody on the planet that, uh, that can uh, harness it uh, productively. So uh, I am quite confident that uh, over the next two days and over the next year that you will continue to mobilize in this regard. Um, and uh, I, I'm, I'm anxious to see uh, at, what, at what speed you actually meet this challenge. Je suis convaincu que vous allez relever le défi, que vous allez pouvoir adopter ou développer de, de nouveaux outils euh, beaux qui vont nous permettre de justement standardiser, consolider la, la, la couche de présentation pour ces petites applications web et que euh, aussi on va pouvoir partager ça euh, sur GitHub avec euh, la planète en entier. So, um, for my part, my office will identify yearly goals, so I now have to go back to the office and think of an even better goal for next year, so I'll see you then at that time. But for the moment, this is a pretty good one, and uh, I am sure uh, that, uh, that you, you folks uh, will have fun. So five years ago when we started, WET was a difficult task. Au tout début, l'idée de standardiser de travailler ensemble à travers des frontières euh, départementales, c'était pas facile. We didn't even have a very extended, uh, if you will, use of GCpedia there. It wasn't necessarily easy to collaborate across departments five years ago. Today, uh, we have to stop and we have to thank the pioneers who, uh, who rolled up their sleeves and who, who really were the geniuses of collaboration who said, you know, we can do a whole lot more together than we can do individually in our many little teams. So I want to thank those people. And before I conclude, and I know I've talked to you too long, j'aimerais aujourd'hui souligner publiquement uh, un de ces pionniers, vraiment le père du mouvement beau à travers uh, uh, l'espace fédéral, c'est Perth Singh. Perth, j'aimerais que tu viennes te joindre à moi ici on stage. Uh, Perth has been uh, an un, uh, you know, unwavering supporter for this movement, for, for WET, for CIOB, for usability. He's been fantastic. We had, to, we had to let him, you know, be promoted. We had to let him get new assignments in government. It wasn't easy. I've been sobbing for months at this prospect. <laughs> Service Canada is very lucky. But uh, folks, uh, you know what, uh, this is what public service is all about. Perth is a shining example. Public service, Destination 2020, Perth, félicitations. Merci et bon code fest. N'oubliez pas, wet, c'est beau. Hashtag. <laughs>